There is no formula. I don't have a formula. It's all about soil structure. It's all about soil life. It's about getting nutrients exchanged. Not what shows on the soil test. They got to be exchanged. That's why you got to monitor the plant. And it's all about soil and crop health. That's it. That's what we're after. And so it's not a magic silver bullet and there is no magic formula because your land is different than my land. And again, that's our farm in the background. What is soil fertility? Now your farmers out here, if you got the local fertilizer people, go ask them sometime. Drive up to the counter and say, tell me what soil fertility is. And you know, a lot of times you get the answer, what's well, the level of phosphorus and potassium and how much nitrogen you use? And I said, oh really? Then your next question is, that would mean, if that's soil fertility and I want to double my soil fertility, I would double those inputs. Is that correct? And they said, well, 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 no, no, no. I said, if I double them, I should be able to double my yield if that's going to double my soil fertility, right? You see, what happened in America is this. And that's why this is the largest farms in North America I'd into this, see. If average yield of corn in the state of Iowa is 150 bushel, someone grew 500 bushel, 400 bushel. They now know that I'm, con I'm the guy that's convinced we can double our yields and reduce our inputs. Not necessarily on some. If you've got a cow that gives 30,000 pounds of milk, do you feed her the same as one that gives 20? First, she eats more, doesn't she? She wouldn't get there otherwise. So uh, uh, per unit of production, per acre, we're all pretty convinced we can double our yields. And they guys are really going after this thing. I speak at the Canadian no-till conference next year, the North American no-till conference. I'm at, I do not know of a single no-till farmer. They're gone. They're gone. They all run vertical tillage machines, knives, blades, chains. Now they're not plowing, and they call themselves no-till, and they get their government check for it, but they're not no-till anymore. They're not. No-till is a method of planting, not a method of farming. And why would you till if you didn't have to? We'll talk about that. So soil fertility. What is it then if it's not just getting peas and K's higher? This came out of a book written in 1880. I collect old farm books and it's really a pleasure and I love reading them. And in 1835 to 1865, the number one fertilizer sold in America, well, two things, gypsum, calcium sulfate, and salt. They put on sea salt. Just put on salt on their land. See, because we needed an electrical charge here. Now we'd use ammonium sulfate. Nobody does salt. We don't get the responses anymore. But so it's, this was in that book. So it's the maximum level of, a, of nutrients that are exchangeable in the soil for optimum crop performance. That does, I mean, it said nutrients. It didn't say NPK. And so just because I put them on, does that mean the plant can get them? That's why it's not math. It's not a formula. You got to get them exchangeable. You got a, a reserve of things here. And if you double your root systems here, you're now accessible to more. How do you know if they're exchangeable? got to monitor the plant. In my career, I spent over a million dollars on feed tests from these dairy farmers. So I got a pretty good database on what that is. 